While Inside Out 2 was an amazing film, one of my biggest fears might become true. What is it, you ask? A lack of originality and uniqueness in movies, especially on the Disney side of things. Inside Out 2 has already become the highest grossing movie in 2024, and the numbers don't seem to be stopping anytime soon. By the time this video comes out, it may have already reached a billion in the box office, and while that sounds like a good thing at first, this could lead to some negative consequences. We all know already that Pixar is going to be shifting gears to focus more on sequels and movies with mass appeal, rather than movies inspired by the experiences of the director, which is its whole own topic that you can look into just by reading the article or watching a video on it, and sadly, I think they may use the success of Inside Out 2 to prove their point. Taking a look back at the 2020 movies made by Pixar, we can see that they haven't been really successful. Soul, Luca, and Turning Red went straight to Disney+, Plus. Lightyear had a terrible box office, and while Elemental ended up having a pretty decent run, it still had one of Pixar's worst domestic box office openings ever. What do these movies have in common? Oh right, they're all original ideas. Well, besides Lightyear, but that movie was just bad. Pixar may see this as a sign from us saying that we want more sequels instead of original ideas, when in reality, it's the opposite. I mean, we're already getting a Toy Story 5. What's stopping them from making a Cars 4, Wall-E 2, Ratatouille 2? Hell, they're already thinking about making an Incredibles 3 and another Finding Nemo movie? What are we doing now, Finding Marlin? You can't keep making sequels of movies that don't need them. Your audience will just get oversaturated. Besides, there's only so many sequels you can make before you run out of ideas. You'll need to make original movies eventually. I'm not even completely against the idea of sequels. I think an Inside Out 3 would be great. Same thing with an Incredibles 3, as long as it ends up being better than the second and doesn't take 14 years. They just need to know when to stop. If Inside Out 2 determined the fate of Pixar, then Elio, the next Pixar movie, has equally as much power. Depending on how that movie does, it could very well determine the fate of original Pixar movies.